Here is the scenario for this video. We have our clavister on the left and the remote gateway to the right. We are going to set up a VPN tunnel and you see the local net, remote net and the server IP server from to which we will receive incoming HTTP traffic. This is all the needed information. You have, we will create an address book object, a remote network, a pre-shared key. We will also create an Ike proposal list and IPsec proposal list and we will use AES 256 bit and SHA-1 encryption. So let's start configuring the Clavister security gateway. Let's first add some objects to the address book. We will create the remote network. It will point to the network we have specified as the remote network. We will also add the remote gateway. This is a public IP that we will type in. And now it's time to add the pre-shared key. So we go to the key ring menu and we add a pre-shared key. We name it VPN PSK and the shared secret is Clavister. And we confirm it. Now we also will create the Ike proposal algorithms. So we give it a name, Ike AES, and we enable AES encryption. And we set the key length to 256 bits. And we enable SHA-1 integrity algorithms. And we do the same for IPsec algorithms. So this will be pretty much identical. We give it a name. IPsec AES, we enable AES 256 and SHA 1 encryption, integrity algorithms. Now we are ready to create the IPsec interface, the actual tunnel. So we fill in the fields here, the name, call it my IPsec, local network will be the LAN net. Remote network is the remote net object. Remote endpoint, remote gateway object. We set it to tunnel mode. We specify our IC algorithm. We change the lifetime to 7800. We select the IPsec AES IPsec algorithm. And we use one hour and one million kilobytes as lifetime. We select the pre-shared key we created a little bit a, a while ago. And the Ike settings are all at the default setting. The routing will be created automatically. So we can now go move to creating the IP policies. So we create one in the our LAN to the remote network. So we name it to remote network. The action is allow, source is LAN, LAN net, and destination is the IPsec interface, named my IPsec, and the remote network. And as service we specify all TCP, UDP, and ICMP, just because we want to allow all those protocols right now. And then we are finished. So we must also move it up in the IP rule set. We will actually move it all the way to the top. And then we'll make a clone of this object because we want to set up a rule in the opposite direction from the remote network. So we change a little bit. The source will be the IPsec interface and the remote network. And they will only be allowed to access the LAN interface and our server, which is on the server IP address. And we limit the services to only HTTP. And now we need to also move this rule. So we use the move to index and we move it to index number two to put it in the second place in the IP rule set. 
and we save and activate because we are completely done and we speed up this a little bit and we are done now we will verify the tunnel setup we will use the ixnoop command we will use the ipsec stat command and ipsec stat usage minus verbose so first we load up putty and connect to the clavister security gateway we start the ixnoop minus on minus verbose and then we also check if the tunnel is up and it is not so we run the ping command to the other end and that will generate a lot of ixnoop and we see that there was no response to the ping but that was because it was denied the tunnel is established and we can also use the ipsec.usage command to see more information packets etc